Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I put the microphone in front of my mouth and I talk about a different tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today, I got a fiver order, so I'm getting paid to check out Omens of Destiny, the fantasy adventure board game, which is currently number 211 on the popularity chart in games. Which, once again, just saying that out loud, 211, which is, this is why I hammer on so many small points and small details because you were competing against a massive amount of other projects at the time. Looking at the main image, I absolutely hate it. I hate everything about it, just about. Everything is so tiny. We need to focus on something here. I can barely read that. A cooperative fantasy adventure board game loaded with quest and content, but the actual player link, the time count, the age, I can't actually see it from here. And this far spread out, I can't see. Is this just a big board? Like, we, we need to focus on something. This is like the law, like, this is a great shot to have somewhere on the page, but I don't think on your main image. Because um, I can't really make out how big the box is. I can't make out any of the board, any of the details, anything. I can barely even see that pricing. I think that says 70, but I definitely think this, this main image needs retooled. Hey, see Goody. Uh, I do like the price on the front. I would make that a little bit bigger or maybe just a different front or something like that. But other than that, it is really hard to get excited about anything here just because it's it's just it's so zoomed out a story rich game with an addictive blend of strategy and luck that traverses the elabrian realms fantastical and deadly lands if i knew what that meant that would get me excited the elabrian i'm imagine that gets some people excited uh i'd love to know the player length the time count and age which once again is just as simple as as blowing that little bit up right there because we do have dang it i hate this uh, a good deal of uh, of unused space in the top right hand corner yeah i can yeah like right there look at that i'm cheating the system um, but as always, let's click on this, get to the video. With the video, do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. Oh yeah, let's see if I can see that player count. Yeah, let's see. What... Yeah, that's, that is so tiny, even blown up right here. Now looking at this, I see right here, uh, yeah, there's like a solid chunk we could cut off here and a solid chunk we could cut right here. Uh, and all this, even zoomed in, isn't really that impressive. It looks like it's a 3D rendering. I think we could cut out every single bit of this. Are those supposed to be acrylics? Because if they are, then I think maybe we zoom in on those. But showing me the back of cards, that's not exciting. I, I guess you're trying to tell me that there's a bunch of different decks. But I, I don't know. It just does not land the main image. I was looking on the actual campaign page. Way too small for that grid page. Yeah, 100%. Like, if it's too small here, translate page from Italian. Uh, wh what? We'll get into that later. What? That's weird. Uh, it's always the video. Three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Uh, let's go. Hordes of tainted, bloodthirsty creatures spawn in the wake of the corruption. A mystical pestilence spreading across the Alabrian realm. They are game board. In Ooh, Omens of okay. Destiny, you All right, we got a big old grid-based thing we're going to be exploring. Probably going to be a sandbox-style game. I'm honestly more excited about your game after zooming in on the board than I was on the main image. Um, which, you know, like, this would, be a, this would be a bad main image as well, but at least this would... Give me the, the gist that it's a sandbox style game. If it is that, I would honestly use that verbiage as well. A story rich game. That's nice to know. With an addictive blend of strategy and luck. Yeah, you, you can cut that. Uh, the Elabrian's Realm. Is that a thing that I should know? Or is that just your theme? Because if that's just your theme, I don't care at all. Uh, yes. Elabrian is just something that you made up, it looks like. So you can cut that. I would put much more useful information here than whatever your, th the theme. Like, we're not here to go into your theme right here. This is where we need to get down to business, because once again, you're 211th in popularity, which means there's 210 things above you, and who knows how many things below you. I'm gonna guess 90 to 190. I'd say probably there's probably, I don't even know. It just takes so long to scroll, but, um... Yeah, if that's, if that's just your theme there, I would 100% put some useful info there. You and your party of Shinkai warriors must work together to meet your quest objectives before... Wow, okay. Now we're talking. That's a lot of chunk. That's, there's a really tiny text on those cards, um, which which is... I, I don't know if you can even make them bigger with how much... Uh, how, with those size cards, but those cards get me excited about the game. That looks like what I want out of this game, which I still don't know the, the time length on. Or this tide of evil overtakes the land. Choose to play as one of seven Ooh. characters, each with unique racial and background. 
background ability. I don't like the fact we zoom by that so fast. I'd love to see what one of these looks like so I can really get a feel for the asymmetry of that. But I do like that. Seven asymmetrical characters. Used to play as one of seven characters. Each. Stop. Sees normally in total darkness and plus one to performance and results on all physical attack. Has a five point bonus to willpower test. Against... Yeah, so it feels like a, a very standard sort of, uh, like this looks familiar, really, which is not necessarily a bad thing. We got the clips here to keep track of your stuff. Looks good. I want to play it. I'm in. Howdy, Huckleberry. Howdy, Ricardo. Good to see you. Kevin, see Goody. Unique racial and background abilities. Ooh, three clips. Equip yourself from a host of weapons, armor, and items. Man, there's a lot of bleed on the outside of those cards. Just an observation. No biggie. I mean, it's it's honestly better from a manufacturing perspective to have a lot of bleed on the outside of your cards. Or a lot of um, that on the outside of your cards. It doesn't always look the greatest. To assist you. Ooh, okay. Lots of these. I would mention how many cards are here. I know you probably will uh, in, in the below, but that'd be nice too. Because you, you very clearly wanted to emphasize just how many cards and different types of cards you had on that main image which is why i think you showed just all those different card backs but they were so far zoomed out that it just it wasn't impressive at all whereas this this gets me excited all the different cards i'd love to know it was like 200 cards 500 or whatever it may be a perilous journey learn to control and wield the boundless power of the mystic force dry erase interesting i didn't see that coming Okay, cool. Not great, not bad, just cool. Travel along the Overland board, triggering events like side quests, surges. Is this cooperative? A story rich game? Um, I don't know. It feels like a cooperative game, but I don't feel like you've really told me yet, or maybe I just missed it. Corruption and combat. When combat. I love how much text and information is on all these cards. I love the fact that these cards. Uh, aside from the item cards, which it is what it is, I uh, feel like they really have a lot of meat on them. That gets me excited from a game perspective, which is great that you're showcasing it here. That is initiated. Set up the combat board. There it was. I thought those were acrylics, but I couldn't tell from how far we were zoomed out. I would honestly cut all the cards from that main image. They're just so unnecessary. They don't they don't really move the ball forward at all. Whereas acrylics, acrylics get me excited, and acrylics make the $70 price point. Like, oh, okay. We got acrylics. That's a deluxified component and battle your foes nice three you're right along the, the quest board to complete side quests and collect rewards whether playing solo or with a group embark on 12 exciting main quests bingo that honestly is what i might get rid of instead of elabrians which i don't even think you've still mentioned this so this is this the, like this last part just completely wasted space here i think you i think you'd be better off focusing on the fact that there's 12 scenarios there i think you'd be better off focusing on the fact that it's solo and cooperative because while you did attempt to put the player like the time count and the age in the top right corner once again it's just so hard to read even uh bro their shipping feed chart oh my gosh it's unreadable don't spoiler spoilers Spectrum i don't want to know yet played as one -offs or <laughs> i was hoping you were gonna say it was so good in campaign mode Whoa, 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 whoa. Campaign mode? Once again, I don't give a crap about Elabrian's blah, 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 blah. But if you've got a campaign game that also plays solo, now I care. Now I care. I don't care about your theme. Sorry, I don't. It's, it's a pretty generic-looking fantasy theme. That's, that's not an insult. There's tons of generic-looking fantasy games. Yours looks to be one of them. But I do care that it's got 12 different campaigns and they can be played together particularly story with the story i love it it's good stuff or in campaign mode elite three okay so super hard mode or awesome. play one of six blitz quests that offer unique challenges okay so there's uh, essentially 18 different games you can play here you know you got the 12 campaigns and the six that's great that's a lot of game there once again the 70 dollars price point when i know that there's 18 like at a bare minimum I can play this 18 times and not see the same thing more than once. I'm in. Like, that looks good. Specifically designed for single session play. Put your skills of strategy. Now, that shot was good because that emphasizes how many cards we probably have there. Like, that's, I think, what you were trying to do on the main image. And once again, I think just slapping me in the face with the number would be great here. Especially if it's over 300. Under 300, yeah, maybe. But over 300, I think you, I think you got a spot like that. And team. Honestly, it's 70 bucks. I think over 200, you still get a spotlight. Work to the test and free the land from the grip of the corruption in Omens of Destiny. 
Okay. Yeah, no minis on this one. Got the acrylics. I don't have time to paint expensive gray blobs. Uh, I, I feel that. All right, so after the video, do I want it? Uh, yeah, I'm down. It looks fun. I know it plays solo. I know it plays campaign. I still want to know. Let's see if I can try and read that. The uh, How long this game is? It is three to four hours. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that main image is a third of a point grade bump down. Honestly, it's a two-third of a point grade bump down. I'll go one-third, because you did put the $70 here, which is great. I think we should zoom in on that, but not spotlighting the acrylics enough so they can really see them, and not spotlighting the three to four hours. That sets you apart from 95% of other games right there. Like, that really does it. So there, there's going to be a whole market that's like three to four hours, solo or campaign, Character art isn't compelling. Looks like a 12-year-old drew it, C. Goody said. Make sure I emphasize that C. Goody said that one. Game creator and author with 30 years of experience with writing, creating, uh, with writing, creating, and gaming. My love is in the fantasy genre, but I occasionally break out of my comfort zone. Let's make sure this link is live. It is live. Okay, cool. Take you to the landing page. Neat. All right. You just want to make sure that that's, uh, that's not a dead link, because that looks bad. So first grade, 15 back, so you are up against the gun of trying to convince people the can-you-do-it aspect. But after the main video, do I want it? I feel like I, 70 bucks, I'm fine. I want, to see a, I want to see a gameplay video, which I imagine you're probably not going to have because it's a three- to four-hour game, which is very disappointing. I guess I shouldn't assume that yet, but I just am, because a three- to four-hour game, that's a lengthy gameplay video. Um, but I do want some videos. Bare minimum, I want a preview. Gameplay video, that'd be nice. Um, I'm looking for shipping as well. And, and to be convinced, I can do it. So the image shown in the game are subject to change per manufacturers. Well, I, the image subject to change to the game. I can barely even see it. And then we go back to this image as well, which I don't think is the image to put there, just because it wasn't great before, and I don't feel like it's great. Well, now it's better. Now I'd say it's better, because it's not the main image. Uh, so we got theme, 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 theme. We got a card. Achieve victory by completing all your quest objectives before the corrupt overtakes the realm. Each main quest, there are 20. What? I thought you said there was 12 plus 6, and now I see 20. 20 is not 18. 20 is an even more impressive number, which, once again, I put on the marquee almost. I heard, I saw the word doobie. They do be having the rule book, at least. Oh, I was expecting it was either about uh, weed or the doobie brothers, and then I saw it was just doobie. Okay. I love both of them. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed my experience playing Omens of Destiny. It delivers a complete RPG adventure straight from the box. Now, that's a great quote, even though it's from somebody I don't know. That's that's a really solid quote. With minimal downtime between turns, fostering a collaborative atmosphere. Beautiful. The game's distinctive fantasy setting introduces races unique to the Mystic Forces world, a refreshing departure from classic tropes. The inclusion of the quest board adds an exciting dimension and offers a swift and engaging path to completing quests. Omens of Destiny's a that's a That's a really rock-solid quote that hits on a variety of different things. And we got a rule booklet here. Beautiful. That's one thing I was definitely looking for. Quest is not a campaign. Ah, okay. Thanks for the clarification. 40-page rule booklet. That's a big one. I really hope you didn't waste the last page. Please tell me you didn't waste the last page. That's always a glaring red flag if we did. It's going to take forever to load, but we'll get there. I do love the fact the rule booklet's there. And now we have this. This is not... Now, here's the thing. You're only up against $70 that you're trying to get me to spend. So, it's not the end of the world that we don't have a great, long, sexy scrolling shot going into all the different components, but it would certainly be nice. I'd also convert this to millimeters or centimeters as well, 30 inches by 20 inches. Uh, that's a big honking board, though. Uh, so, for those of you who don't use inches, a.k.a. the majority of the world, that is, I can't do it off the top of my head, 25.4 millimeters for each inch. So... 50 50-ish by 75-ish okay seven character cards dry erasable those are nice and i'd say those feel like more than character cards those are like character boards don't don't downplay it so how many cards do we got we got 27 we got 69 we got 79 83 112 145 we'll just round this up and say 250 270 310 yeah we are well probably around 400 cards so I, I really think the best thing to do here would be to make it easy for me slap me in the face so that i'm getting over 400 cards when i see 70 dollars over 400 cards 20 different missions i can go on solo cooperative dry erase player but like there's so much here that's good the 70 dollar price point i feel like is not something that we should have any issues convincing people of Two and a half feet by one and a half feet. Thank you. 
Uh, oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Seven unique characters. Uh, okay, so yeah, the artwork, not my particular cup of tea, but uh, okay. I don't feel like it's terrible. It's just, yeah, it is what it is. That one, yeah, I don't know if I just, I don't know if I would be spot, okay. God dang it, I gotta be blonde here. I don't know if focusing on the artwork this early is your best play because I don't think it's your best feature. I think I said that politely. Yeah, because I don't feel like most people are going to be wowed by the artwork, unfortunately. Which makes it so that maybe we don't focus on it this early. Maybe we get $70 out of your pocket first before we start showcasing the artwork and the theme and whatnot. All right, build up your hero. Omens of Destiny is an exciting, story-rich board game. It gives you the excitement of RPG without requiring a game master. I love the way the characters can be customized to suit your adventuring needs. That's cool. Omens of Destiny offers great replayability with a variety of races, weapons, armor, and forces effects you can pick up. You can also play solo with your friends. Either way, I'm sure you'll have a great time. So we got two quotes from playtesters. I'd love one from a personality at some point as well. Ooh, okay. Now those cards look nice. Text is a bit small, which I feel like is a recurring theme here. I, I hope by the end of this we really, I, I, I hope we we get some larger text. Because that's, because, like, look at this. Look how tiny that text is. And all you got to do, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm not a graphic designer, but I definitely think that text is too tiny. Especially considering your target market, you know, a lot of them are probably going to be people who might not have the greatest eyes. All right, so we got creatures, combat. So now we're going into the gameplay here. What do I want? I want a video. Side quest. This is all good stuff to have, but I think videos. Here we go. We got previews. Oh, they're clickable. Why clickable? I don't know why you're making these clickable. Once again, industry standard is just to put them on the page, and I think it's, you know, once again, kick, here's the bottom line. Kickstarter does not want you sending people away. Are those tarot size cards? Runes are sort of like rules over. Start with an endurance of four. What the heck is this? is this? The board? This looks great. Is this like the whole board? Like with all the spot? Yeah. I really feel a third of a point grade bump up, down. I'm just gonna go a third of a point grade bump down for this right here. This list is just not it. There's a reason that we don't see stuff like this and we see the long, sexy scrolling shot. It just it, it's not. Mm, I don't think it hits the mark. All right, so what do we got? What do we got? Card so, oh, yeah. So some people like the card art. Once again, it's a very subjective thing, but I don't think it's the first thing we, we lead into. Ooh, oh, those are, I don't think those are too bad. I think the text from the card is going to convince people more than the artwork. That's what I'm getting at. And, and, then, and that's not always the case. Some games, the artwork is definitely pulling the train. I think in this one, all the text on your cards. The fact that it's a three to four hour game. Once again... The fact that it's a three to four hour game, I don't think is spotlighted nearly well enough. And I know you're like, oh, maybe I don't want to focus on that too much because that's going to scare away a lot of people. Who the hell cares? You want them to buy your game that'd be incredibly disappointed when it's three to four hours? No, I would be wearing that like a badge of honor, like a big old S on my chest. Three to four hours. This is a meaty game. And that also makes me be kind of like more interested based on the fact that people keep saying, oh, it's kind of like an RPG type of thing, like where the story is really going to come through. Solo playthrough, fantastic. I'd put this way higher. Yeah, this is great. Don't make this clickable. Don't make this something where I have to go away. I think this one, and look at that. 19 views right there. And that's, so this is the kind of thing that I would have embedded near the top of the page. I think that's crucial. I wonder how much variability there is in the playtime. Yes, I'm also very curious about that as well, especially if the, oh, this is a setup for solo play. Oh, never mind. This is a setup video. Okay, my excitement level went to a zero. And once again, I make setup videos from time to time, so I can say that. It's what I always say, I feel like I say that every day. I can trash on this because I do it. Good. We're using the back of the rule booklet. Well, beautiful. Uh, yeah, setup video. Who, uh, this is, so it says solo playthrough. And I go, oh, there is. I clicked on something else. So cool. Never mind. Solo playthrough, beautiful. I would put that embedded on your page, and I put that near the top. Honestly. Being a sucker for RPGs, I think it might be good to highlight the attached RPG. There's a whole RPG with lore of the world. What? What? Yeah. Why? Why are we not emphasizing that? If you want to emphasize just how thematic your game is, letting me know that it's based off a role-playing game world that actually exists, 
that's what I'm going to make it feel like. Ooh, this one's dripping with theme. And then we have a game preview once again. Never. Clickable. Yeah, I kind of hate it. I kind of hate it. I wonder how much more engagement there might be with these if they weren't clickable, you know? Just put them up there. Are you worried about making the page? And this also kind of looks like not maybe looking at the industry standard a lot here. Because there's a lot of stuff here where it's like, I don't want to toot my own horn, but if, if you if you reached out to someone like me beforehand, you're like, hey, what do you think about this? And be like, maybe, maybe you do this, maybe you do that, maybe you do this other thing, because it's just very popular in other things. But I, I would totally put all these videos on your page. Maybe spread them out a little bit. <sighs> maybe it's what's in the title, bro. Oh, there's also a playthrough video uh, of an intro quest. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, the, the hour and 21. That one does get me excited. The setup, whatever. Um, but the, the playthrough, that's money. That's a money video. That's fantastic. That's That'll that'll a lot of times convince people. Uh, so single copy, $23. So it doesn't feel like a great price. Once again, I don't feel like I have a great idea of what size the box is, which would be nice. Is this a big box? I don't imagine it's a big box without any minis. But still, I imagine it's going to be a heavy box as well. And that's another thing that you can do. Uh, I see a lot of companies do it. I always think it's a great idea, especially with how many cards you have, is to mention the weight of your game. It always makes the shipping a lot easier to swallow. And this doesn't look too bad. I don't have an issue with the shipping section. Uh, please be aware the reward tier price does not include shipping and VAT charges. Okay, yeah, yeah, got it. The shipping and VAT will be collected through the pledge manager after the thing is completed. So uh, 45, 28 to Canada, 34. UK is 18. Wow, go UK. China, Hong Kong, 13. Well, that kind of makes sense because they're shipping from China. Okay. Belarus, you suck. You don't get this game. All right, fine shipping area. So my final price, I'm looking at, what is it, $93? I don't have an issue with that. That seems fine. Oh, now I can kind of get it just from the size of the box. Looks like a ticket to ride size box. Which, I re yeah, I really feel like not having the picture there. Uh, the, the component picture of just all the stuff and just slapping me in the face with the components and making me read through it. And once again, like, ah, but it's not just reading through it. It's like, do you want to read through this? Because it's not that just that you're reading through it. It's like, oh, brown event cards. Cool. Black event cards. Neat. The reference card. Same thing. Like, I'd love a picture of the reference card. How nice is this? Is it double-sided? Is it a tarot-sized card? Because I did see there were tarot-sized cards. Which one of these are tarot-sized cards? I just don't feel like we're giving nearly enough information anywhere, honestly. The main image on the story, it just feels like this is... 70% of the Kickstarter. It just feels like a like close to being done rough draft almost. Uh, why back? With over five years spent in development and testing. Wow, that's great. Honestly, I don't feel like the video was the problem here. But I feel like a personal touch might be great. I've been working on this for five years. It's based on the lore of an RPG. Uh, it's dripping with theme. It's three to four hours, which I know is not going to be for everybody, but it is for you. It really, I really wanted to recreate the feel of a role-playing game without having to have someone sit out and not have all the fun of playing the role-playing game and running the Dungeon Master. And It's got engaging storylines and acrylics and over 400 cards. I, I feel like that was the way to go here. Uh, next step, the great news of the game is design is ready to complete. No waiting for artwork, component design. Uh, those workers are already completed, so all that remains is actually manufactured in the game. Stuff, things, that's the other thing. So, okay, let's check out the price. Uh, so 70, just one role player's bundle. So this is ugly. Once again, I don't feel like we mentioned this at all. And this is why we need to have a pledge area, right? I, I love the fact you slap 70 bucks on the front, but I feel like we need to have a pledge area here. Yeah, Myst so Mystic, Fo double it. Two copies of the Almost a Destiny VR game. Um, so it's not actually a discount for me. I mean, from retail, but is this really coming to retail? Really? Like, I, I don't feel like you're up against the retail gun, which is something that I talk about a lot with bigger companies, where it's like, yeah, this is definitely going to end up at retail. Why should I buy it now instead of then? Whereas you don't have that issue. No one's like, oh, yeah, I'll just wait to pick this up at Target. <laughs> you know? I, I, I love for that to happen but we're not in that phase in the hobby where target's going to be holding on to three to four hour games then we got the hardcore supporter and just everything included with the super yeah and you have all these pledges and yet you don't have a pledge level here and this 
yeah, this really reeks of not looking around the room and seeing what the industry standard is, which is just as simple as just going. And I mentioned this. I mentioned this to every single person who I talk to pre-launch about their Kickstarter. Go look at five to ten other popular current board game projects, not past board game projects. I need to make sure I emphasize that because the industry standard with every industry shifts over time. And you just go through five to ten projects and say, oh, I like how they did that. I like how they did that. I like how they did that. I could steal that. I could use that. And then your page just technically looks better because right now that story is not, not the most fun or engaging to go through. And I think it could be because the at the end of the day, your price isn't terrible. 93 bucks. I mean, it, it's Kickstarter reasonable for sure, especially when I factor in the fact that this is probably going to be a relatively small print run. July 2024. Oh, you've already made these. That's what's going on here. Okay, so this is just straight up pre-order. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then I would have went with a lower funding goal, first and foremost. Um, which I know a lot of people, they hate. Uh, what's with the misleading funding goals? I, you know, I personally hate them too, but we're looking at this from the business perspective here. We're not looking from the consumer perspective. And from the business perspective... You know, if you were to put this as a $5,000 funding goal, you're going to make 5000 bucks, and it looks like you've already made the game, potentially, if you're shipping it out in July. Because that is an incredibly quick turnaround time. Either that or you're just not going to hit it in any way, shape, or form. Um, hmm. All right. So, let's see. FAQ updates, comments. No FAQs. That makes sense. There's only five comments, because, once again, this one is just not hitting with people, unfortunately. Uh, I always say this analogy that when you launch a Kickstarter, it's like pushing out a boat. You know, and you need to have the initial push before you even launch. You need to be ready. You got to have people ready, excited, and the videos and all this, that, the other thing. And then you have to have stuff hopefully going on mid campaign. And then I don't know. I don't know how the boat analogy ends. I don't know what you do at the end of the boat. Playthrough video now available. So that was just put up four days ago. That's fantastic. That's the thing you got to launch with, though. I'd like to say, start by saying how thankful I am to support of Omens of Destiny. You're getting an amazing deal on an exciting and robust game. I don't feel like that, though. I really don't. And I think that's just because we didn't spotlight it well enough. I hope you'll share this Kickstarter with your friends, gaming community. Uh, and Okay. Below are the links to the video. Okay. Greetings, everyone. Today is one leak post-launch. We are 30% of the way, 37% of the way of the goal. I wanted to thank a minute to thank everyone. And thank you again for all your pledges and interests. If you haven't played, if you've played Open Zest, please feel free to leave a comment on Kickstarter telling you about your experience. Oh, wait, the solo video is on the front page. I am blind. No, you're not blind. It's just clickable, Jorge, and you expect it to be in video format. That's totally acceptable. My main motivation, I don't know why I said acceptable like that. My main motivation was supporting for solo play, and the game is already in a state to be moved straight to manufacturing, so no long period to wait. I wonder if that's the case. Because there are no stretch goals. July, though, is still. That's incredibly ambitious. Hopefully a solo play film can be uploaded if it's not already. Yeah. Uh, I think if you relaunch, that's definitely something that, that we want. Front front page. Near the top, honestly. Just a gameplay video. I think this looks pretty cool. I love... I like the low-key nature of the production, which also helps a lot with the cost. Oh, yes, because the cost is fine. And I'm sure it would look good, potentially, if you just spotlighted it more. This boat sinks. Uh, yeah, it is. It definitely looks like this one's probably going to be a relaunch here. Even though, even though I actually got a message from from uh, from from Luca Friday. And, and in case you're wondering, if you're watching the show on Friday, we did Tau Wars, and he ended up pulling that out and hitting two stretch goals, nonetheless. And he messaged me. He's like, "Yeah, man, really appreciate it." So that was awesome. He was saying you should cover it again. I was like, "No, <laughs> I don't like covering things more than once." But yeah, it was good for him. Um, unfortunately for this one, I just. I don't see it happening at this, but granted, granted, Tower's 177th in popularity. I played demos this game at Charcon and Origins, seen the game evolve through playtesting. I'm happy to be a part of this growing community of enthusiasts who supporting it. That's another thing that I think would be nice here. Uh, pictures of people playtesting this. You know, you don't need videos. Just like, hey, we took it to this convention. Because, yeah, like I said, I did actually go to Origins and shoot like a really short interview with them. Um, so, yeah. There it is. Final grade for Omens of Destiny Fantasy Adventure board game. Let's do it. Do I want it? Yeah, I do. Honestly, as soon as I found out it was three to four players solo, I looked at the components, the number of cards, the acrylics, and I saw some of the cards and the sheer amount of text on the cards. That's my jam. I love owning games like this. Do I get to play many games like this? No, but I own them. 
I see it. I got a whole shelf over here of games like this where it's like these meaty, epic adventure games. They say, one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to have the time to play these games or eventually I'm going to play these games with my kids when they get like to be teens. Um, so I'm in. This is my type of game. Do I want it? Yes. $70 Kickstarter pricing. Granted, the shipping's 23 This seems fine. Fine. Do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? That's where it gets to be a bit concerning. Because it's your first time, so you're up against that gun. And, well, I guess if you actually raise $15,000, this is not a particularly difficult game to manufacture. Looking at it from just strictly an X's and O's perspective as someone who works for a manufacturer currently, none of this is hard to make. You got some dice, you got some poker sheets, you got the player boards, which you just need to laminatify, which is not a word, and I don't really care. You got the board. Nothing here is hard to make. Um, so yeah, if they get the money, can you do it? I'm fine. It's their only game as well. So yeah, they're obviously going to push it out the door. They want to see this thing exist as much as you do if you're backing it. So can you do it? Yes, but you're still a first timer, which scares me a little bit. And the fact that you're not looking around the room to see industry standard does scare me a bit. But the fact that you were at Origins and you're going to conventions and you're playtesting it once again makes me feel more comfortable, but you didn't emphasize that well. Even the video with me, which I think is a garbage 45-second interview, and I'll be quite frank with you. A lot of the interviews I shoot, especially the shorter ones, I just think they're not the best content. You know, I go there, I shoot stuff, and I hope they're good content, but it's just, they don't turn out. Because who really needs a 45-second video talking about that? I don't know why that video is so short. Um, but it's just just showing the fact that you were at the convention and showcasing the game. Let's talk about with the pictures a little bit. It just, you took it to a real convention, real convention, you know, like Origins is one of the biggest conventions in the United States of America. Top five, top 10, probably. Uh, you were showcasing, you were play testing. That's a great thing to showcase. And that also helps with the, can you do it? You know, we had a booth at Origins or, or whatever they had. I, I think that could be it. So can you do it? I'll give it the nod, but once again, you get those clickable link, the clickable link videos, just, no, no. Unless you have, like, 50. If you have 50, that's a different thing. But at the current state, no. And then not even pulling quotes from some of the videos as well. And I don't know if you have quotes from some of the videos, because mine was, like, an interview, and one's, like, a solo gameplay, and one's a setup video. So it's different. Uh, what's the point of that? To see your pretty mug for 45 seconds? Honestly, I couldn't remember. I couldn't tell you. Most of those interviews are a little bit longer than 45 seconds. And maybe I'm being hyperbolic. Let's go. Maybe at the end of this video, I'll go back and watch it. I wonder if I can get myself a copyright flag on myself. I don't know if that's how that works. And then how much is it? It seems fine. So at the end of the day, do I want it? Can you do it? And how much is it? We don't have anything glaring that says no. But there's so many other things that just don't... I feel like land like this in particular like that is just so ugly like i would honestly just get on fiverr and pay somebody to just like hey here's this here's that here's here's a couple images from other kickstarters can you make that and this into that and pay the 15 20 bucks 30 bucks whatever it needs to be to get that also i think leading with the artwork once again, I don't think it's your strong point. I think your cards are the strong point. I think the number of cards are the strong point. I think the three to four, like, look at this. That's That, to me, is the strong point. I think the fact your player board, the dry erase player board, is the strong point. Once again, if I didn't watch the video, here's what I would say. A lot of people don't watch the video. It hurts my heart, but a lot of people don't watch these videos. And if I didn't watch the video, I don't even know about the dry erase, do I? Aside from, like this and maybe like another blurb in the quote i just don't feel like you showcased yourself well in the story they didn't think this campaign through rough draft was a perfect description and now i gotta give a grade end of the day final grade d that art should be way above the character art i agree i think i'm with a d on this one but i think it definitely has the potential to be easily bumped up with just I think a relaunch is probably going to have to happen for this one, just being realistic with 10 days left to go, unless you get yourself, you know, some sort of, uh, I don't want to say miracle, but, you know, a really big thing happening. Yeah, because right now we're trending to not get, you know, not, not get there. C, C minus. I'm being generous, he said with a C minus. That just honestly, that main image, that main image and just how poor it is, I think it just. There's 210 things above you, 
and, and, and I think your main image and description focusing on a Labrian's realm, like that still doesn't mean anything. I went through the whole story and I still don't know what that means. I think we need to emphasize the good things we got, which is right here. Right now it's too small. Uh, D is a bit harsh. C to C minus. Okay, fair enough. I'll go D plus then. If the, if the, if the audience is telling me I'm being too harsh, I'll listen to it. And here's, and here's honestly the bottom line. I might be being too harsh because, once again, I'm getting paid to make this video and I really don't ever want to seem like a shill. Like, I hate... Because I, there's, there's so many content creators that I know people feel like are shilling and I don't want to do that. So, yeah, I imagine if I'm, I might be leaning too hard the other way. Yeah, I think you're right. Because at the end of the day, do I want it? Can you do it? And how much is it? We're all... None of them were no's. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the D plus there. Let me know in the comments below what's your final grade. And was I being hyperbolic about the 45 seconds? Let's go. Let's see where the previews. Oh, that's the... It's an interview. Uh, but Bowers Game Corner. Yeah, what's this? Omens of Destiny. Oh, it's three minutes. Never mind. I'm a liar. Sorry for lying. Uh, let me know in the comments below what's your final grade. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye. Wait, where's my thing? How do I get... How, wait, what did I do? Oh, there it is.